So we're back in San Juan, and the second quarter about to start here. Now the pressure of adjustment uh, really uh, falling on the shoulders of Mahua, mm -hmm. but Raj Tonko red hot in that opening quarter in this San Beda unit. Hindi pa nga pumapasok si Eugene. Eh. Eugene. Nasabi mo nga red hot ang shooting 57% in the first quarter. And Mapua knows now siya either 40% on the field, but 57% it's just too high. Powered by 5 out of 8 from the 3 point area compared to 1 out of 4 for Mapua. Well, Sabera starts the second quarter with a 13 point lead. They led by as many as 15 points in quarter number 1. At sabi mo nga, Miko, kanina sa graphics natin, 31 points in total ang starters last game. First quarter natin, 22 points na agad ang starters ng San Beda. And so, Exi Bitaeng and the rest of the Cardinals really trying to catch up. And they are hoping for a great start here in the second period. Cedric Pelayo, hounded by Oftana. Gamboa, oh, nice touch pass to Bonifacio. And a rebound for Carino. And those shot attempts dapat na shoot eh dahil maganda yung pasa nasa loob ka na mag-isa ka na halos kaya mini-finish mo na yun. but of course the defense is rotating to you Bolly goes right Tonko he's open he fires overshoots Bolly with an offensive rebound put back no go and that time was Bokon and Bokon was blocked Biteng on the move Biteng may have been out of control there and the loose ball goes out it will it will go to I think the ball will stay with Mapua. And the pass kanino, great roll by Gamboa. Even better pass Mapunta dito kay Bonifacio, but they were not able to finish it. Very, very young players, both freshmen, tong dalawang big guys ni coach Atoiko. And uh, they would learn. So the ball will stay with Mapua. Cardinals down by 13. And better head coach Boyan Fernandez hoping to lead the Red Lions to yet another championship. Pelayo. Lots of time to shoot. Oh, Noah Lugo in the right place at the right time. Coming off the backside. Good read there. No more overshoot yung tira. And uh, mo nga, right place at the right time. Making garbage to go. Evan Nelly is in the game for the first time, joining Tonko, Oftana, Mokon. And Calvin Oftana, I can see why you like oh, this guy. Oh. A role player, can shoot from the outside, 3-4. Eh. Yun yung uh, bagong mold ng mga players na mahaba na maliligsi. And how about this lineup ng San Beda? Ang haba eh, wingspan-wise and height-wise. They can cover very well on the defensive side of the basketball. And ang mapuwa ganun din, but they, they are lack a little bit on the height side. Wow, back-to-back -back threes for Calvin Oftana. Warren Bonifacio fires away. This is it, and uh, the ball will stay with the Cardinals. Coming off that first hit, ito, galing maaga to sa shot clock nila, getting into a set. Ito, another extra pass. Passing up a good shot for an even better shot. There was no one within three feet of Calvin Oftana when he shot that second three-point shot. Christian Bunyag back in the ball game for the Cardinals. Well, they need his uh, presence inside. Dami ka tapay, matatawagan ng foul. Tinutulak na si Christian Bunyag on the catch. One of the rookies ng San Beda. Atos kung tapay yan, no? Bodying him up, putting the hip into action. Back to live action. Sabeda on top, 36-19. Aguirre, tough shot. A very tough shot. Lobong, lobong yung tira. And he, he needs to because he's playing that four spot and he's around 5 foot 11, 6 flat on a good day. Once again, good afternoon to, uh, to everyone watching us on SNA, on live stream, on YouTube. Just like Kenneth Pilapi. Oh, Kuya Kenneth, isa sa mga staff ng San Beda oh. University. And he must be very happy with exactly. the way San Beda is playing here in the first half. Huwag tuwa yung mga nasa IMC ng San Beda. 
Oh, the... Uh, ito, kapatid pala to ni uh, Calvin of Tana, Marie of Tana. Very proud of, uh, of her brother. And she should be. Great first half for mm -hmm. Oftana coming off the bench. Eight points off the bench, two three-point shots, and an offensive rebound to add to that. It is now 38-21 para sa San Beda. Bunyan to Pelayo, and Pelayo scores. Those are the sets that they want to get. Hit the post, hit the cutters, open up the floor, mas magandang flow sa kanilang opensa instead of just settling for one-on-one -on -one shots. This three for Eva Nelly. Eric Abel on the move to Lugo. Lugo missing, uh, missing in transition. Nelly intended for Oftana. Abel with a steal. A great defense there by Daniel Aguirre. Sprinting back, playing that safety valve role. And Aguirre can't get the bounce and a push. By James Catlas. Okay, nagani James Catlas. Ito yung PC ko. They wanted to screen away, but you need to have smart players to be very successful. And Cedric Pelayo, reading na hindi ginamit yung screen niya, he dove. So he gets that free shot. Lawrence Victoria and the Cardinals trying to bounce back here in the second period. Pelayo to Victoria. Victoria, quick first step. Almost, but not quite. And dami nila mga blow by and uh, free shots on the paint, but they are not being able to convert it. Those are chances that you you really want to take advantage of, especially when you're lagging behind and you're playing against uh, a definitely stronger team. JB Bogart and the Red Lions on top, 38-23. Back in a moment. At nagbabalik ang NCAA Season 94 dito lang sa SNA. Mga kapamilya, napapahila na lang ng buhok si Coach Ate ko sa kanilang huling huddle sa Mapua Cardinals. This is a very emotional squad and the frustration is real. Kanya-kanya sila ng experience sa pagiging bitin dito sa NCAA. So halimbawa na lang, you have Noah Lugo who played for the Lyceum Pirates bago pa sila mag-rise to power. Nariyan rin si Cedric Pelayo. Second year pa lang, gagraduate na. Ayaw naman niya maging ganito ito ang kanyang last year. Si Justin Serrano naman, who sparked their first quarter, he missed last year and had to watch as they slid to last place. At the time pa lang, sinasabi na niya, hindi na natin hahayaang ganunin tayo sa Season 94. That is what they need to see today. Back to you, Miko. Uh, salamat, uh, Siege, and uh, Mokon, and the Red Lions. Pinapalaki ng pinapalaki yung lamang nila. Ito namang sa Mapua, eh, si Coach Atoy ko, nagpapatok-patok naman yung mga problema nila dito sa first half. Well, ganun talaga eh. You need to take it like a grain of salt. Dahil medyo bata yung team niya. It's not an excuse. You need to be competing at any level. Pero, naunahan sila rito. Kailangan lang nila makakuha ng mga stops at kailangan ma-shoot nila yung mga tira na malapitan na na mimintis pa nila. Second personal foul on Kuntapa. Eh. At least this is one matchup na Pwede look, looks like they want to capitalize eh, uh, Bunyag against uh, Kuntapa. Eh. And one of the few bright spots ng uh, Mapua University last year, Christian Bunyag averaged the double-double. One of the most improved players last year. We'll see the first appearance of Eugene. And the number so far of Calvin of Tana off the bench. Eight points, three out of three field goals. Only averaging a point per game. That's definitely a bump to those averages. Nelly to Kuntapay, Kuntapay to of Tana. Shot clock down to 10. Red Lions in total control so far of the first half. James Canlas inside. No, in and out. Victoria to Pelayo. Cardinals on the attack. Pelayo fires and scores. Mahirap na tira. Kahit nung hatak po sila on break, nakatransition agad ang depensa. But Cedric Pelayo fabricating a shot, taking contact, shooting that looping jump shot. Nelly to Kuntapay, and a lot of uh, a lot of contact there between Bonifacio and Eugene Toba. Two of them uh, 
lighter players natin dito nagbabanggaan. Medyo magandang panoorin yan. Ivan Bonifacio, a freshman is not afraid. Very good player in high school, part of that champion team for the Mapuanet Robins. Bolik for three. And this time it will be an offensive foul against uh, Eugene Toba. Tinamaan daw ng sigo niya itong si Juan El Bonifacio. First personal against Eugene. Approaching the last four minutes of the first half. Shot clock reads 12 for Mapua. And that time, well, so Mobra naman si Bunyag in trying to establish position. Wow, ayun. Nakalunch kasi yung braso instead of just using his shoulder or his hips to move the defender. Nalawagan talaga ng charge yun, lalo na nasa harapan mo yung referee. Well, referees are trying to tell Bolik and Pelayo to uh, chillax a bit. <laughs> well, expect mo na yan dahil Robert Bolik na sabi mo nga kanina maaga pa lang sa season nakatingin na agad beast mode ko beast mode eh. at uh, expect na niya na hindi lang si Cedric Pelayo ang titiin sa kanya sa depensa and again Meron na namang nangyari away from the ball. the ball. Yeah. Doon sa pagkat ni Evan Nelly. Oh, check that. That's with Eugene Toba. Doon nagkaroon ng switch. Kaya pinapababa ni Robert Bolik itong si Toba. It's either he would get a one-on-one -on -one against the taller but a little bit laterally challenged to Aaron Bonifacio. Or, yun nga sa ilalim, Eugene Toba against Cedric Pelayo. First personal foul against Pelayo. If he were to choose among the many strengths ng San Beda, which would be the most pivotal for San Beda for them to uh, you know, stay undefeated in the tournament? Well, if you look at them, they are uh, really bent on length and on the defensive side. Nas nakakapag jump switch sila. If you're looking at teams on the top of the standings, the Letra Knights, the LPU Pirates of the World, yun yung magiging advantage sila dahil their 3, 4, and 5 guys can really jump switch. And even their wing guys are tall and lanky. Ito, titignan mo na lang, amigo, as they force a uh, shot clock violation there. Si Evan Nelly, pagkatitignan mo, he's around 5 foot 10, 5 foot 11, but his arms are really May wingspan, long. Wingspan. Oh, yung wingspan. And lalo na sa laro natin yan, it's about pace and space. The more that you cover that space, the better your defensive sets would be. Well, Palayo making life hard for Nelly. Shot clock reads 13. Red Lion still on top, 43-27. Eugene Toba looking for Bolling. Eugene against Bonifacio. And it will be a Sandera turnover. You see the frustration there by Toba Eugene. He is more apt on moving without the ball instead of creating shots for himself and being in that position to score lang instead of just, ayun, ikaw na yung gagawa na sarili mong ginang hirap nun eh. Cardinals on the attack here. Pelayo against Doliges. Shot clock reads 10. Serrano goes back to Pelayo. Pelayo for three. That's good. And he really has that stroke. And he, he's not afraid to shoot even if there are defenders in front of him. Maganda rin yung extra pass sa kanya sa corner. For the Cardinals, nice that deficit down to 13 points. Nice up and under by Kutapa. I just couldn't finish. Asa loob na, iniluwa pa. And Victoria sends it out to Pelayo. Pelayo for three. Yes, sir! And it's down to a 10-point deficit. The Cardinals coming to life here in the second quarter with 2 and 38 remaining in the second period. All right, let's take a closer look at uh, Lawrence Victoria of the Mapua Cardinals. Nine points, 
nine assists, four boards. Across the board, brilliance para kay Lawrence Victoria, plus 15. Sa kanilang plus minus, sa kanilang kuponan during that last win against the AU Chiefs. In the meantime, Cedric Pelayo bringing the Cardinals back uh, within uh, shouting distance. 10-point game as we approach the last two minutes of the second quarter. How will the Red Lions respond? Bollick drives and scores. Jump step, attack with the left hand, finish in the paint, take contact, walang pito. Okay lang, laro lang si Robert Bollick. Seven points for Bollick in the first half. Pelayo firing away and scores again. Kumpiyansa, kumpiyansa. Kung talagang pag kayo mga scorer natin, nakikita kami yung sunod-sunod eh. No? Last game, it was uh, Garcia. And then now, ito namang si Pelayo. Pelayo, 12 out of his 14 points coming here in the second period. And the Cardinals force a turnover. Noah Lugo off the glass is good. That's basic basketball for you, no dribbles. Wasted there, Bonifacio and Lugo passing back and forth. At bumaba na to single digits itong lamang ng San Beda. Red Lions once up by 18 points. And that lead is now down to 8. And there's an offensive foul here against San Beda. How about CJ Pelayo sticking to that jumper and sticking it to the San Beda defense? And a very nice fast break ran by the former high school teammates, Noah Lugo and Juan Bonifacio for the Malayan High School. But the man of the moment for Mapua is Cedric CJ Pelayo. 75% on the field, 14 points, 12 in the second quarter, waxing hot with two three point shots. Exactly what the Cardinals needed to get back in the game. Meantime, our guest on the line is Lawrence Victoria. Played solidly last game. Talagang siya na yung kumuha ng point guard role. Si role na yan. Dahil last year, Andoy Estrella was there. Si Exi Biteng was there, rehabbing from his injury. Ngayon, firmly he is entrenched on that point guard position for Coach Andoy Ko. Under two minutes remaining in the second quarter. Cardinals on a 15-4 run. Nice drop pass by Bolik, but Cardinals take the ball away. Noah Lugo against Bokon. Lugo steps on the brakes. Justin Serrano to Bonifacio for two. Great pass there by Justin Serrano. Almost a travel, but I think that's the FIBA rule right now. Getting himself gathered. Threading the pass into the paint. Down to five. Itong lamang ng San Beda. This is not how Boyd Fernandez. Uh -huh, definitely. Uh, not, not the kind of uh, first half uh, finish that he wants to see from San Beda. Medyo nag-relax din kasi sila dito sa second quarter. Matatandaan natin, ipinasok si Evan Nelly, ipinasok si Toba Eugene. Sila si uh, Dami Kuntapay, nagkaroon ng extended playing time. Doon nagkaroon ng run at 7-0 to zero points of turnovers. At ngayong quarter na to, 16-8. to eight. Yan ang bench scoring ng Mapua kontra sa San Beda. So San Beda was red hot in the uh, opening quarter. They led by as many as 15 points. But now JB Mokon and the Red Lions... Nalamig sila dito sa second period. Allowing the Cardinals to crawl back. Six-point game para sa San Beda. Time winding down in the second period. Justin Serrano to Noah Lugo. Shot clock reads 12. Lugo with nowhere to go. Lawrence Victoria with a drive. And being nowhere to go, and they stuck to their pattern. Nakita mo dribble drive concept. Jumping into that kill box. Umaangat tong si Victoria, pass back, downhill drive, and a floater. Down to four na lang tong lamang ng San Beda. Bolik, turnover. So great opportunity here for Mapua to really, really finish the first half on a strong note. Usually, Six. ang coaches gusto lang mababasa sa sampu pagkaganon kalaki yung lamang. Pero ito, This hinahabol talaga. So much better. Three seconds remaining. Pelayo. Trying to hit a big three-point shot. That won't drop. So San Beda will hold on to a four-point lead. 46-42. And it, although Calvin Oftana was great off the bench, overall, 
the Papua Cardinals, they were excellent in that second period. 25 to 16. Pagdating sa second period and Papua ending the first half with a 21 to 5 run. That's a big run powered by ito nga, si CJ Pelayo and the rest of his crew. Robert Bollick and the Red Lions want to stay undefeated, but the Papua Cardinals are determined to score a big win today. Sabeda on top, 46-42 at the half. We'll be back with more. This is the NCAA on SNA.